Hello everybody and welcome to a type of story time video. I wanted to explain why I haven't really been doing a lot of videos lately and all. Plus I wanted to go over my history with uh, bullying and why a lot of people don't seem to understand bullying. I've been seeing a lot of bullying going on around the internet, stuff like that, people harassing. There's that whole thing that people started with hating on, um, I don't even know it's hating, but they're making fun of Jacksepticeye's uh, father, which is just garbage people. They are garbage people. I don't care what you say, they're all garbage. But um, basically my point is, when I was four years old, my baby brother drowned. At that point, my entire family, for the most part, started blaming me for it, saying that it's my fault, I killed him, I hated him, I was jealous. Me and him were inseparable. We were the types of uh, kids who, you know, brothers, who actually loved each other and were inseparable. We did everything together, got in trouble together, took responsibility for everything we did together. We were those kids. We were the inseparable kids who no one really could, you know, whatever. We were just that kids. I, I don't know any comparison, really. I, I know I there's some shows that I could compare it to, but I can never think of them, which is really bad. But this is what started all the bullying. But it didn't really stop. At this point, my bullying around my neighborhood was a bunch of people just beating their little shite out of me. To the point that I just didn't have any more will to keep fighting back. I, you know, I just... I didn't like violence either, so I refused to fight them. But they never really treated me right you know like a human being i was always bullied always beat always treated like i was a second class citizen by all of them but the in reality i never let it get to me i knew that things could get better at least i kept telling myself that uh, uh spoiler it never actually did yeah my life actually just kept getting worse and worse never got better it basically got to a certain point where nothing's changed since. And it's why I tend to be more negative. Because I learned to have fun with negativity. Because it's all I've ever really known. I've never had a positive life. And it wasn't until I was nine where I, um... I don't like talking about this a lot, but... My brother's best friend did stuff. Uh, let's put it this way. Uh, he liked the little boys. Yeah, if you know what I mean by that. Yeah, he's not the person you want to be around. And most of my family didn't believe me, didn't want to deal with it, hated me, said I was lying about all of it, and that's something that I just didn't do. I didn't lie. I didn't do it. Most of my family hated me. By this point, my family already actively showed how much disdain they had for me. But at this point, they just started getting worse and worse. Now, my grandmother was the only person in my entire childhood who treated me with respect, kindness, and everything else you would want from a family member. She was the one person I liked. Out of my whole family, if it wasn't for her, I would have had no one. At all. My grandmother is more of a saint for me. Because she treated me the way you would want to be treated. Not the way that uh, I was treated. Yeah, I was treated pretty bad. And... Like I said, at the neighborhood around me was, at this point, just beating me. But after this whole thing happened, they went from beating me to choking me out, strangling me, actively going out of their way to shove my face in the human feces, 
pushing me off of buildings, beating me with metal bats, two by fours. I want, I'm hard to speak. I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> uh, there was an incident they had where uh, it happened a few times where I watched them fire a gun, uh, rifle to be precise. And, you know, I obviously, because the person was a hunter, so he hunted with it. Uh, never actually saw him hunt. Said he was a hunter. I don't know. I, I never saw him ever go hunting. And I always learned, made to check where people were going and what they were doing, because I was bullied by them. So I wanted to keep myself safe. But whoever, or whatever he was doing with it, I don't know. But I had just watched him fire it. And then he pointed the gun at my face. And while I was just there, had nowhere to go, and pulled the trigger. And then laughed in my face because I freaked out saying that <laughs> it was loaded. Yeah. Uh, gun safety rule? Always treat a gun like it's always loaded. It, it's always supposed to be treated like it's an active firearm. And he didn't, which was showing his carelessness with firearms. And the fact that he would actively point one at someone and let alone pull the trigger at them shows how much respect he actually had for me. And I won't say who it is. I won't give any names. Because, uh, again, this was years ago. I don't know if they changed, if he's grown up. Mind you, he was older than me. This person was already in high school, and at the time, I was early middle school, so, yeah. But, anyways, this was my neighborhood. Now, you may say, well, tell an adult that they're bullying me. The problem is, it wasn't just the kids bullying me. The adults were actively bullying me as well. For example, there was a... It seemed not happen with some people where they started making fun of me, bullying me, threatening me, threatening to do some horrible, horrible stuff to me. So I started yelling back at them. I cussed them out and everything else. And then the one who points the gun at me all the time, his mother came out and said, I never heard any of them, but I heard you, and I'll tell your parents what you did. You go home, and you're never allowed to come around this uh, schoolhouse again, which was a playground at the point because the school had closed. And they didn't own it. It was public property. I was allowed to be there. But they kept trying to say that somebody else owned it, and they would call the cops if I ever go there again. And I would actively get beaten up for even going there. Which was just horrible in many ways. So yeah, this is just one example of one of the parents, but they all did this. Every adult was joining in, helping with the bullying, and it just got to the point where I never actually got to go anywhere. I started spending all my time on a pier by myself, fishing and crabbing. Ironically, I never really could catch a fish, it's weird. Never could actually get one on a hook, but even so, I still did it every day. Never got sunburn either. On a pier all day long, every day, never had sunburn in my life. Ever. So, apparently uh, another family my member has that too, where they never had sunburn. But, I again, I'm digressing. Uh, now you may say, okay, so maybe you're safe at school, because teachers wouldn't bully you. Uh, no. Teachers would bully me. Yeah, even at school I was bullied by teachers, students, and none of the neighborhood kids actually went to my school. I went to school out of county for people with disabilities and uh, behavioral issues. So, in this school, we were bull I was bullied by everyone. Uh, see, I was a short kid. Very short. As a freshman in high school... Age. I wasn't a freshman yet because I had failed a year uh, because of behavioral issues, not because I got bad grades. Ironically enough, everyone thinks just because you get bad grades you can fail. That's not entirely true. You can also fail for other things. But um, it was held back and all. So basically, in this point. So, basically, because I was so small, I was a short kid, 
I one day got transferred to a bus. This is the best experience to show you how small I was. I was transferred to a high school bus, and a bunch of females who were my age on that bus started saying, Oh, look at the adorable, cute kid. What school do you go to? What elementary school do you go to? Yet, they thought I was an elementary student, and I was their age. I was their age, and they thought I was an elementary student. Yeah, I I didn't know any of them either. So, these girls thought I was elementary, and I was their age. But, this didn't help me. You may say, well, okay, well, at least you were short, and you, I mean, that couldn't really be stuff they could make too much funny about you. Well, yeah, they never really made fun of my height. What they made fun of me was my shoe size. See, I wore an adult's 12. Uh, American shoes. I don't know if they change in other countries or not. Thing, but it was a 12, a size 12 shoe. That that's what I wore, size 12. And I was wearing size 12 by the time I was in fifth grade. Yeah, I've always had bigger feet, but I was always short. So because of that, I got made fun of for my shoe size. Always told I wore clown shoes. Isn't that lovely? Clown shoes. Now you may say, well, shoe size is cool then, because if you had that big a feet at that age, well, you know what they say about shoe size. Huge appetite. Yeah. No, actually, there was actually nobody who would be interested in my school in that. See, we didn't actually have females. The last year of my school there, we had some females. And the first year, we did. The first year, we had three. Second year, we lost uh, two of them. And then my last year there, we had three. And that was in the entire school. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of females, so... And there was only one guy who was interested in guys, but hasn't came out yet. I found out later he came out in high school. So, yeah. Basically, nobody was interested in my shoe size. Instead, I got made fun of. And that's kind of what all these kids did. They made fun of me. They bullied me. In fact, my best friend had once told me that th this is what they told him. The bully me. Always bully me. If they don't, if he doesn't bully me, they'll bully him. And I got another confirmation from someone else who gave me his phone number, said, Hey, I actually think you're cool, a good guy, and, co and awesome and all, but I'm going to bully you in school just because I don't want to be bullied. And, yeah... The bullying, you may say, oh, it couldn't be too bad, right? Uh, well, one person who was my friend started bullying me, and the things he was saying was uh, how he was going to kill me, my entire family, and all my animals. And the teachers never took any of these threats seriously. And he's showing up in school with dead animals. Dead animals he claimed he had killed because they were too noisy. And since they, looking at me and telling me he's going to do this to me, my family, and all my animals. I'm pretty sure that's a threat you should take seriously from a person who has admitted and I had actually been to his house and can confirm has firearms and knows where I live he knows my address mind it getting there is one thing too he was never going to get there easily without a parent's help or some sort of ride but still taking a threat seriously is something they never did then again the teachers also bullied me too but that's a story for another time I hope you enjoy uh, learning a bit more about bullying and what type of bullies there are because they're not all just give me your lunch money nerd yeah 
they can get to the point where they put you in the hospital or the morgue. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy uh, this step into my reality of how my life has been and the type of bullies there are. It's not a fun life to live, but it is my life and I've lived it. But I hope you all enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.